Hello everyone. This is Julie from Patchworks. How is everyone tonight? I'm seeing a bunch of you hop on. We'll wait a couple minutes before we get started. A couple seconds, not a couple minutes. While we're waiting, I just have to share with you, look at my fun new bangle. I received this from my friend David over at Moda. He shared with me this great bangle because he knew that I wore tape measures around my wrist. So this one here is from the last time we had quilt market in October of 2019. This leather one is from the last quilt retreat I went to. And this one is commemorating that we're gonna go, be going back to quilt market soon. So I'm excited. All right. So I see we have a bunch of people on, so why don't we get started? It's always a party at Patchworks. Let's get this party started. Woot woot. Hi everyone. This is Julie from Patchworks and I am so excited that you're joining us for another Must Sew TV Thursday night. Tonight we have some really special things planned for you. Uh, it, it, we're going to be featuring our Moda University program in here where I'm going to show you some new Moda fabrics. We're going to talk about a fun project. Then I'm going to be sharing with you three brand, brand new June Taylor products that you'll be seeing here tonight. And then we're going to be talking about some upcoming fabric lines. And finally, we're going to be looking at show and tell as well as what arrived new in the shop this week. Pay attention while we're watching because we are going to have some fun trivia for you. We've been having fun with the trivia over the past few weeks and we are going to have three amazing prizes that we're going to award tomorrow. All you need to do is type in a response to the questions and from all of the correct entries, we are going to do a drawing for one of the amazing prizes. So let's take a peek at the fabric bundles that we are going to be featuring tonight. We have five beautiful fabric lines to share with you today. We have a brand, brand, brand new designer with Moda Fabrics. This one, this fabric line is called Break of Day and it features chickens. So we have the beautiful chickens here with the sunburst, yellow tone, little chicks in the field, gorgeous sunburst, green and blue background, some beautiful blue daisies, and chickens on a weather vane. This second pack here is a patchwork curated blue and yellow pack that has a combination of florals from a few different lines, as well as textures of spotted by, oh, I'm sorry, this is thatched by Robin Pickens, as well as grunge by Basic Gray. Then we have a red and blue grunge pack as a nod to Americana colors. It also blends really well with the colors that we're featuring on the board tonight. We have Sunday Stroll by Bonnie and Camille. So the classic red and navy blue with that little bit of aqua here. Some cute, cute strawberries here. And then what we did is we paired, we have a few of these out of print early bird bundles available here. And I wanted to show how these classic Bonnie and Camille colors go together. We do have a few of these bundles still in the store if you wanted to scoop one up. Or if you just wanted to see how the colors blend together, you can see how beautifully all of the colors work. So these are the five options that we have for you today. Now what we're going to do is I would like to share with you a project that we are going to be working on with the fabrics. So all of our club members are receiving in their packet 
a pattern for a quilt called Chicken Coop. Now this is a free and downloadable pattern from Moda Fabrics. I'm going to include after the presentation the link so that all of you can enjoy the beautiful pattern. And we made the two blocks in the quilt into these super cute little mug mats. So I'm going to pull these off as well as grab our demo board so I can show you how these blocks go together very easily. So we have an eight inch block in this pattern. Do I have this centered here, Frank? So we can see it pretty good. Down a little bit. How about now? Still down? Okay. So this pattern here is chicken coop. Featuring Break of Day by Sweet Fire Road. Sweet Fire Road released three complimentary patterns with their brand new fabric line and chicken coop was just so super cute with these cute I'm, and i'm just saying cute 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 over and over again look at this little chicken i mean how adorable so often we see chickens as applique and i just love this pieced unit so it's traditionally pieced it is not paper pieced and then you do see that we have this little bonnet here is an applique on. We decided that our chicken was going to be made up of daisies. So we used our fat eighth pack for this particular one and added a background. This is the background from our break of day fabric line. If you wanted to make the whole quilt, the whole quilt would finish 48 by 64 and it would feature all of these chickens and I should probably know how many chickens there were there but I don't and the chickens are going both facing left and facing right for the chicken we are going to look at a few of the units that Heidi has stepped out for us and there is a template that is used What's important when you're printing templates out is to make sure that you're printing to scale. So when you're printing, you wanna make sure that the box is checked actual size rather than fit to print page or any other offering. And you'll double check it by actually measuring with your quilting ruler to make sure that that measures an inch. After you have made sure that it measures that, you can go ahead and cut out your pieces. So we have our pieces cut out here. And what's important to note as well is that you need to make sure that you have both left and right chickens if you're making the whole quilt. If you're making the mug mat, you are just going to make sure you are placing them consistent on the right side of the fabric. And you'll cut out your shape. You can see here, that this is notched. So when you go to line up your piece, you'll make sure that the flat side is lined up and you'll just sew from point to point. Now, it might seem a little weird because when you flip it over, you can see that the fabric doesn't continue all the way to the edge of the fabric because that would be too much bulk, okay? It's going to end up in your seam allowance and it's going to be perfect, perfect, perfect but it was optimized to avoid bulk when piecing. After you have flipped over this edge and so you have a nice rectangle, we're gonna put a connector corner with just a square on the edge. And when I work with a connector corner, I use my quick quarter ruler to draw my line by putting the ruler from point to point, drawing my line and stitching. After I flip it over, you'll see that it comes down a quarter of an inch so that you're not going to lose your point when it all goes together. 
This is the tail of your chicken. For the body of your chicken, you're going to start with a square, and then you're going to put connector corners on the bottom. So you're going to take a small square of background, right sides together, use your quick quarter ruler, draw your line down the center, stitch, repeat on the opposite side, and Heidi wanted to show us that we do like to trim away that edge so that when we flip this back, you don't have the shadow of our base fabric. Next, we're going to work on the neck. The neck, you're going to start with a rectangle of the background, and you're going to take a connector corner of your body fabric, and you're going to put that on top. Position the ruler. Draw your line, stitch, and flip. And for the beak, oh, this is so slick. You are going to take a small rectangle of your body fabric. You are going to put on another small rectangle. So what do I mean by put on? We're going to piece a very thin piece of yellow fabric. We're going to press it over. Then we are going to take a small connector corner, draw our lines, stitch it, flip it, and repeat on the bottom. Okay, there's a little bit of extra fabric here, so there's that quarter inch gap there. And you have your tail, your neck, your beak, a spacer, your body, a spacer, and then your top and bottom spacers. The little comb that gets put on here, the little hat, bonnet, you are just going to use some fusible web adhesive to trace your shape. Put it on the back side of a piece of fabric, cut it out, peel the pa paper off, position it, and stitch it down as desired. And you're putting it all together. Let's so you're going to put that on after it's all pieced here because you want to make sure that it goes over this top spacing piece. Did you see that? And to finish this up, we thought this would just finish up super cute as a mug mat or a little uh, de decorator piece on our desk or on our wall. We backed it with this awesome background piece. So you would be able to get two of these squares out of one of your fat eighth pieces. And we just did some straight line stitching and bound it with the dark navy fabric here. The second block that we worked with is this alternate block that's in the corners. And here it's a star within a star. And this star was put together with flying geese that are connector style flying geese. So you're just start with the background rectangle, put your square on top, draw your lines, stitch and flip, repeat on the other side, and then your larger outside star points would be just in larger scale. Okay, so you can either make them individually, or you can make many, many, and make the whole chicken coop. So this is Chicken Coop, featuring Break of Day by Sweet Fire Road. So now it's time for our first trivia question. All right, are you ready? So the winner of the first trivia question is going to win. <gasps> Oh, look at this. It's a bundle of all sorts of grunge scrap bolt ends. So this is over a yard of fabric of beautiful grunges. And the question is, who is the designer of Break of Day? <gasps> oh, have you been watching? I don't know. All right, so make sure to get your answers in. All answers will be tabulated tomorrow at noon. So you can answer as soon as you know. All right, so who is the designer of the break of day fabric that we just showed you? All right. 
So now what we are going to talk about is the beautiful pre-cuts we have gotten in from our fabric line Sunday Stroll. So Sunday Stroll, I'm just going to quick hang these back up so I don't lose them. So Sunday Stroll is a beautiful fabric line by Bonnie and Camille, the latest in their series. And it was one of our options for our Fat 8 packs. And we received some of the fabrics. So the pre-cuts that we have available for you are the whole Fat Quarter Tower here. jellies, charms, and layers. There also is a beautiful box kit that I'm going to show you and we're going to open overhead. So Frank, let's look at this overhead. This is a beautiful box kit here, Sunday Stroll. The finished kit finishes 64 by 78 and inside you are going to have everything to make the quilt top and the binding. So this is a row by row quilt and you have very traditional Bonnie and Camille shapes here. You have the hearts, you have the houses, you have the flowers, strawberries, and this block here that Bonnie like or that Camille likes to use all the time. So let's open this up. <gasps> oh, so we have a beautiful thimble blossoms pattern here that has all of the different shapes included and I think as well this is a really nice pattern because you could use each of these elements individually for a smaller project. And then oh, look at this all of these yummy yummy fabrics to make the whole quilt top including this great polka dot print here for the background. So this kit, let's just close it up. So this, qui ki this kit is $129.99, so it's an excellent price. And we have a few of them available in store. I believe it is online and you can either order it online Give us a message, give us a call, or stop in to order it. Okay. Next, I would like to show you a fun project that we made out of our Sunday Stroll fabric. And it is one of the three new products that we have from June Taylor. So the new product is the insulated lunchbox sewing kit. Okay, so it's a sewing kit, kind of like the quilt as you go, but a little bit different. Let me just grab this here. So our version using the fat eighth. Da da da. Oh, look at this. Isn't this cute? So we did a little uh, pieced edge here. And then we used this print diagonally and diagonally. It has a nice zipper finish and a covered handle that we used this gingham plaid. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to put together one of these as is. We're going to have a step out video for this, a standalone video, so we'll be able to go through this in much more detail. But we have some of the original samples from our friends at June Taylor. Aren't these really awesome? This is a beautiful, could be a kid, the little, the little girl, the Stacy Itsu princess here. And then we have a whimsical teacup and some crazy pandas here. So playing with all sorts of different ways that we can make it. And let's look at a step-by-step -step 
And as I said, we are going to have a follow-up video that will go through this in much greater detail. Okay, so let's look overhead and in the package, you get pre-printed on this insulated batting, okay? You might have seen it in a few other products. And if you do the Quilt June Taylor different pro projects, you would have seen this in the casserole caddy. So it has two sides. And what you're going to do is you're going to use both sides to make the one bag. You're going to trim it up to a little edge around. And this is where it's different from the quilt as you go. You are going to layer right sides together on top of the back side, that's that non-printed side, of the pre-printed batting. And then what you're going to do is you are going to sew on the dashed line. So you're going to sew, 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 do, 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 all the way around, okay? Leaving this edge free. You're going to repeat that on both sides. Then what you're going to do, okay, so this is stitched. We're then going to cut on the solid line all the way around on both sides. Now remember, it's really, really important that the side is not stitched. It is then going to look like this. And since this is a sewing project, we want to make sure to clip our corners, okay, so we clipped two of them with a nice deep V, and then we just left these because we could show you live, but we're not going to cut right now. And then also trimming these corners. Now we are going to turn this right side out, and it is going to look like this. Ta -da -da. Notice that all of our edges are finished and this kind of looks like a big wide I or a really stubby H. Okay, so we're going to do that twice, right? Twice. And now it is time to cover our handles. So to cover the handles, there are two handles that have been um, included in the package. You are going to press just the fabric right away. So you'll press in half, you'll tuck in your tuck to meet, and then you'll press it over. And you also want to tuck under the edge. Now, after this is nice and pressed and crisp, you're going to insert the edge, but what's really important when you're inserting the edge here is that you're going to leave this little bit left over, which is unusual, but you want to do that because as we sew that in, you want to make sure that there's not going to be too much bulk in the bottom. So as I said, we're going to go over this in much greater detail when we go through the whole bag. You'll insert it and then you'll top stitch. After you have finished that handle, you are going to attach it. And you want to make sure where we attach it is about six inches down, that we are going to do an X to make sure it doesn't come off on us. And we're going to stitch it down. So you're going to repeat that on both sides. And then it's time to put a zipper on. So when we put our zipper on, it's one of the zippities that June Taylor has, and we have those available separately. These come in six different colors. You are going to just slide in 
the edge, so that's that edge that we didn't finish, we're just going to slide it in. And you'd want to make sure that you're doing it on the side facing you. Slide it in and then stitch it down, okay? And it's going to look like this. You stitch one side first and then you stitch the other side. And notice that the zipper hangs off the edge. At this point, if you wanted to embellish the zipper, you either could stitch on a piece of ribbon, you could stitch on a decorative piece of fabric, you could play along and do some fun stitches. How fun would that be to play with some of the fun uh, decorative stitches that you have on your machine? Maybe you'll just choose one. After you have that attached, now we get to finish putting it together, okay? So we've decorated. We're going to make sure that our zipper pulls in the center. We'll stitch these edges, trim that up, and now to finish assembly, we are going to first stitch the bottom, okay? So when we stitch the bottom and then press it open, okay? So you're going to end up with this nice finished edge. How cool is that? I really love that. And then we're going to line up the sides, press this open, and you can pin, stitch the sides. We're using a half inch seam here so that it stays nice and together. That's what this side looks like. And to finish the boxed edges, you'll pull this out and stitch on all four ends. And then you'll be able to turn it right side out and end up with a beautiful bag. So let's look up, up front. The other thing that is included with this is a insert that you can cover and finish in your bag. So this is a lunch box, but couldn't you see it used as well to carry some really other cool things? I'm seeing this with the insulated as being an iron carrier to and from your uh, classes or retreats. You could also use it to just put all sorts of great sewing accessories in there. It is sized perfectly to fit a six pack if you happen to go somewhere where you might have to have a little bit of a party or picnic. So lots and lots of fun for this project. To turn it into what we did, I am going to grab our step outs for that. And we modified this by first drawing a line. And you can see here, maybe we should look at it overhead. So we drew a line here and we drew it. We, you wouldn't use marker. We just wanted you to be able to see it. We drew it to continue this stitching line all the way across, okay? And then what we did is we started at one end and we are doing a stitch and flip and stitch and flip. Now this is not intended or written as a quilt as you go. So because anytime you embellish it, you're just going to be using the plain piece of batting here. There is absolutely no reason to put the lining on yet because we wanna make sure that our lining, our edges are all finished. So. You're going to stitch and flip and stitch and flip and stitch and flip all the way across. And then you are going to take a piece of fabric, stitch and flip, and stitch and flip. After your base is complete, you will continue the way that we showed. So that is just a really bonus fun way that you could complete this project. You could embellish this any way that you wanted. Um, just keep in mind that this section right here is the side panel, okay? And what we did here is then when we had our, put the bottom here. So we decided 
when we put this together that we alternated what the bottom fabric was for each of the two different halves so that when it went together, it would look like an X. So that's our fun project here. So this is the insulated lunch tote. We have these in stock in the six different colors that are available in the zippers. They are available, I believe, online as well as in store. And if they aren't available online yet, we will make sure that they are by tomorrow. OK. So the next fun project I want to share with you is the thing that's in the corner here. All right, let me make let me make room. So this little guy here that we have in the corner is a quilt as you go sewing machine cover and caddy. So this is really cool. Um, this is June Taylor's 60th anniversary year. And June Taylor is a Wisconsin company. They got their, their start making tailoring products for pressing for the garment industry or for home sewers. And a little gadget that has resurged out of their 60th anniversary is this Magic Seam Wand, which is a um, no heat presser foot. You can use this as a wooden ironing finger and it works really, really great. We'll be using this as a demo piece in our upcoming projects where we're using no heat sewing. And of course, you can also heat it up to add just a little bit extra sear when you are heating. So I love the shape of this and the wide band. How this comes into play with this is that when we're working with our Quilt As You Go projects, we always like to make sure that things are over flat. But when you're working with the pieces of fabric, you don't want to be applying the heat of a full-fledged iron to your Quilt As You Go. Uh, we don't often talk about that enough in our demos, but you don't want to stretch your batting or you don't want to melt any of the poly that's in your 80-20 batting. So, Let's take a peek at the finished one here, and we will also have a separate step out video for this particular project. This here, let's look, let me uh, take myself off of a cord here. We have an extra camera here, and we have this set up that this is our super cute little classroom ever sewn covered by this cover. So this features the blooming bunch. And you can see our ever sewn is there. And then this mat that it fits on is two and a half inch strip friendly with nice pockets. So you can tuck in your little tools or maybe some candy. For this particular project, Frank, I'm going to have you go up to the front again. This batting for the machine cover comes multi-sized. So there are three different machine sizes. For this particular one, I believe it's the small. And the large goes all the way up to those really large long arms that we have at home. So very nice two and a half inch strip project that we'll be talking about later. I just wanted you to know that we have this new, new, new product in stock and what a great way to be able to decorate your sewing room with all of your favorite fabrics. Now it is time for the second trivia contest question of the day. Yay! Frank's cheering in the background. It's so exciting. So our second prize today is for this beautiful collection of Moda Florally fabrics. 
little bolt ends here as well as a little bit of grunge over a yard of fabric here to add to your collection. And this question is, how many years has June Taylor been in business? What anniversary are they celebrating that they released the magic seam wand? <gasps> Ooh, we just told you. So I hope you know the answer. You have until noon tomorrow to be eligible to win this amazing prize. You might even get a magic seam wand with your fabric. Oh, how exciting. All right. So now we are going to talk about your show and tell. So how many of you have joined our Patchworks party? That's our Facebook group. So you'll want to make sure to join our Facebook party or our Patchwork Party Facebook group so that you can see all of the fun inspiration that we have available to be able to share with each other. I'm going to share with you some great show and tell that you have shared. The first up that we have is Jerry Driggett has shared the Robin Pickens Radiance Bloom. So all of you really loved this pattern that we shared last month. And so thank you so much, Jerry, for submitting that. Other Radiance Blooms that we've seen, we have one from Jackie. So Jackie was so excited with the project, she made nine of them. Thanks, Jackie. Then Carol sent me by email this great one. So she used some Minikin Simpson that she had in her stash. And I also saw that Anne put two together to make a fun table topper. So whether you made one, two, nine, or 85, put them together as a quilt or had them separate. Thanks so much for sharing them with us. It is a pattern that is available to be used with a mini charm. Other show and tell that was shared this month was a beautiful small quilt with X's and O's. Thanks, Jerry, for sharing this one with the on the go fabric. Cindy posted this uh, wall hanging featuring Dwell and Possibility by Ginger Burr. Helen posted this table topper. She's ready for autumn. I know it's barely, summer's not even here, but you are ready for the next season. So awesome, awesome. Kathy, who is our Kansas Troubles aficionado, finished her latest quilt featuring Kansas Troubles. Way to go, Kathy. And everybody's been making lots of bags. So Jill finished up this Minikin Simpson utility shopping tote. Carol made this June Taylor Alexandra, I believe it's Alexandra, quilt as you go tote. And she chose to make her bands wider so that you could really see the fabric. Diane made this applique. She embroidered some shopping for this nice tote and she used the laminate for that. Sherry made a beautiful quilt as you go tote. And to finish off our show and tell, we have two other projects. Kathy posted a 
table runner here, and she pulled out one of her vintage Fat Eighth Packs. I believe that was a Sandy Gervais freshly squeezed from a few years back. And Cindy posted a Betsy Chichin beautiful chain block. So thank you so, 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 so much for posting. I know that there was more show and tell. I actually don't know what happened to a few of our graphics. So I had entered everyone who posted some motor show and tell in the past month. And there were, I believe, close to 10 others that I don't have pictures to show you. So that's why you're going to want to make sure that you hop onto the group so that you can see all of it. I did put everybody's name in for the drawing. And so for our show and tell drawing, you all did such an amazing job. We have two prizes. I told you last week we had this great book, which is Se Sweet Celebration with Moda Bake Shop Chefs that has pre-cut patterns. But then there was so much show and tell that I thought that we needed to throw in a second prize, and that is this great zipper bag here that is ample for collecting all of your amazing things. And this is a very special, hard to find bag that you'll get only here. So let's do a drawing. First winner, the grand winner will get, well actually I'll give you your choice. First choice winner gets to choose the bag or the book. And the first winner is, Jackie, congratulations, Jackie. And the second winner, so Jackie gets first pick. The next winner is Carol Jameson. Congratulations, Carol. Congratulations to everyone who participated. Please, please, please make sure that you include show and tell so that we have great stuff to share in our different clubs, as well as you can share amongst yourselves and inspire amongst yourselves during the month. Now we are going to talk about other fun fabrics. So upcoming fabrics. This is really important because I know shipping has been, um, whether you're talking about fabric, whether you're talking about anything right now, the world is catching up, things are clogged, and I wanted to keep you updated with um, what's coming as well as um, what just came. So first we're gonna start with the Moda pre-cuts that we just got as well as the Moda fabrics and what you are waiting for, and I've been getting lots of emails for, so I have a little bit of a rundown of things from February, March, and April that we have been thinking about. So we're not even talking about May and June yet, all right? So first up, what I wanna share with you is the American Gathering Kit, the Our Flag Stands for Freedom. This box kit from Lisa Bonjean, Primitive Gatherings, this, we have a few of these left in stock. We have the charm packs, jelly rolls, and layer cakes for American gatherings that just came in. The fat quarter stacks we still are waiting on and we do, do still have yardage in stock. This particular beautiful quilt makes the, this quilt that is 54 by 72 and also with your leftovers, you get to make a 27 by 36 mini quilt. So great flag quilt, everything that you need to make this project. This box kit is $129.99 and we have those in stock. Still waiting on the fat quarters. Violet Hill, which is the latest from Holly Taylor. We just got the beautiful pre-cuts in. So this is this light blue, 
beautiful lavenders into plums, great Wisconsin flowers. I love, I love, love, love purple flowers. So this is Violet Hill. We just got the pre-cuts. We are expecting the yardage in in the next couple weeks, okay? And the next Kansas Troubles, which is Prairie Dreams, okay? We have the pre-cuts in stock here and the yardage we should be expecting in the next couple weeks. March, all, or, so another fabric that was originally slated for March is Illustrations, and that is a black and white collection. I, we're going to be receiving that shortly. And then we have Sunshine Soul, which is from Create Joy Project. Those are the beautiful blooming panels that will be shipping shortly. Janet Clare has a botanicals line, so her latest line will be shipping soon. Things that we are expecting, but don't quite know when they might come yet. The Dance in Paris by Zen Chic, we, are, we have ordered when we are expecting. We have a few pieces of Flea Market Fresh, which is an ephemeral line that we'll be receiving. Low Volume Lollies by Jen Kingwell which also is the featured fabric for a motivational video that we're first expecting out in June-ish. We also have another motivational video uh, fabric line, which is Tochi by Debbie Maddie. So that's going to be farther in May or June. Crystal Lane by Bunny Hill Designs, which is a blue and white floral. That's going to be coming. And we have two Ruby Star fabric lines, Pearl, which is a knitting theme by Sarah Watts, and Terrytown, which is a whimsical, fun fabric line by Kimberly Kite that also is slated. So right now, things are shipping, I, from my viewing, four to, four to eight weeks behind. And so I just wanted to let you know so that you aren't sad or don't think we, you missed out on anything. Those are coming and we will be carrying them. I know Frank's sitting in the background and he is just squirming in his chair because he's so afraid that everything's gonna show up at once and that the store's not gonna be big enough to hold it all because we have so much fun fabric that's waiting to come for all of you. And so don't worry, I believe that things are just going to still be continuing to come in and we have lots of fun fabric to share with you. It's just taking a little bit. So that was the update. I can also type that out and include it in the post uh, just so that you know that things are still coming. And of course, always ask if you have any questions. Okay. What else is here, here, here? Ah. Okay. Oh, wait, but we have another trivia question. Got to have another trivia question. So this trivia question, we have Pat Sloan's book, Celebrate the Seasons. All right. So this question. What did I do with it? What did I hear? It? it is, what is the name of Holly Taylor's new fabric line? Make sure to get your answer in so that you can win Pat Sloan's Celebrate the Seasons book with 14 easy quilts and companion projects, which is a great, great, great book from Martingale. All right, what we're going to do now is we've had a really uh, great time and have a lot of great feedback from you is when we close up the show here by showing you what new fabric has come in the past week. So we are going to continue that and we will just show you the new stuff that's come. Yay! We always like to see new stuff. So. Okay, first up, we have some new backgrounds. So these are cream backgrounds. This is creme 
fresh. It is an Andover background collection. There are 16 different fabrics in this, and we thought they were so amazing that we did put them together as a fat quarter as well as a half yard tower, ranging from cooler lights to warmer medium backgrounds. Creme fresh backgrounds. Ooh, ah. Next, we have S O Wolf from Art Gallery Fabrics. So we have some rainbows and dogs and bones and more dogs and bones and cats, and more cats. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, we switched. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. So these, <laughs> the cats were into uh, a Wyndham fabric here. So cute cats, fun dogs. Dogs and cats can play together and they even look like they go together. Then we have Farm Friends from Wyndham Fabrics. Some carrots, a nice rainbow stripe that's printed on the diagonal. Then we have some little forest friends with elephants and unicorns. So clearly this is just in someone's imagination that all of these play together. So it's Unicorns and Animals is the name of the fabric line. And then this one is Tossed Animals. It has some raccoons and some moose and some foxes and some bears. And then we have some Alphabet. Oh, so cute. Switching gears. I'm feeling like it's time to start golfing. What do you think? The weather's perfect. And it's time for us to tee off on the back nine. So the back nine is the name of this fabric line from Blank Quilting. And we have clubs and tees and balls and carts. And staying in the sports theme, we also have some new basketballs and footballs and helmets. Ha, huh, footballs. Thanks for tuning in tonight and watching us instead of watching the draft. All right. So those are our new fabrics that we have received this week to share with you, as well as we are refilling all of our color wall along the way so that you can still find lots of great go-withs to complete your projects. We had a lot of fun today. I really thank you for joining us. Remember that we have a program every single Thursday. We call it Must Sew TV. And I do need your help because we want to know how to make everything better. And so I was asking on our Facebook group, and I am going to ask you as well, if there are topics that you would like us to cover, techniques, things like that, Make sure to include them in the comments because I would love to be able to incorporate uh, some of the content that you would like into our future programs. So make sure that you let us know what you are thinking. Also, make sure you tune in tomorrow afternoon so that you can see who wins all of the great prizes. You wanna make sure that you join our Facebook party group, which is Patchworks Party, so that you can participate in our show and tell group, as well as be notified of all of the exciting things right away. And uh, sometimes you're able to see Patchworks things a little bit easier if you are in a group. I know not all of you are on Facebook or prefer not to be on Facebook. And so we are going to be playing in May with alternate, uh, with, a di with streaming 
to a couple different platforms at the same time. So cross your fingers that technology will work so that we can be able to provide all of those options available to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll make sure to answer the questions afterwards. I'm sorry I'm not able to see everything all at once. I really appreciate you tuning in. Happy quilting, and we'll see you soon.